Okay, legends, welcome along to another episode. Let's get into another little cheesy shark movie. And this one is Six-Headed Shark Attack. Now, there's um, there's a load of these movies. I think there's four of them all together. Um, I've already done one on this channel. And I got into these by complete accident. It's a friend of mine was into these before me, and she let me this box set that had five or six different movies on it. And it was all these... TV movies, cheesy stuff, and um, they're already on this channel. Check out the the playlist that is imaginatively, imaginatively titled "Cheesy Shark Movies." So I'm adding every time I do one of these, I'll add it to that same uh, collection playlist on this channel. But this one here, 2018, um, stars Brandon Arett, Tandy Seabee, Cord Newman. That's the free sort of main characters though there's uh, a big big cast in this one uh, the idea of this movie is this guy he runs uh, Brandon Nuret plays William he runs this island that is essentially a retreat for couples therapy and originally the backstory to him is his wife is the relationship counsellor more or less and he's kind of like the guy that's there to just do the heavy lifting and whatnot. but uh, prior to the events of the movie they have split up so he's trying to run this place on his own and you know that's the first day of the retreat and he's trying to run these people through uh, different things to learn them how to work together in situations and whatnot. But shortly into the movie of course the six headed shark turns up and I have to say now for you know reviewing this as a cheesy shark movie it does have its moments of extreme cheesiness but I do have to say out of the films that I've watched so far in this little series of reviews this one here has perhaps the best performances of the actors out of any of them yet uh, you know they do their thing and they do it well um, there's some comic moments out of the few of them like you, you look forward to that in these sorts of movies there's uh, just enough humour dropped in there and places to uh, hit that funny bone um, uh, it's shorten the delivery of that there's not much of that in this film but this six headed shark turns up and of course it starts taking people out and it's like you know pretty much just trying to survive to the end of the movie more or less now there is what i'm just going to count i've got a list of the people that's in this movie there's two four six eight ten twelve there's about 18 people in the cast of this movie between uh, the guy running this place, of course, his ex-wife. She turns up with the divorce papers and whatnot with her new man on a boat to get him to sign it. They leave. And as they leave, the attacks begin and people are starting to get taken out. And There's one part in the movie where it starts to set it up and the visuals for it are great. There's a storm, an uncommon storm, that they're going to have to try and survive. And the only way they feel that they can do it is there's these little buildings floating out just offshore of the island. And they reckon, okay, if the storm's going to come in, might flood the island and whatnot. We might not survive on there if we get onto these here. They'll rise and lower with the water and um, they get out onto that and the visuals in the movie of the the uncommon storm look great but the storm never arrives on these little floating buildings they find paperwork and whatnot the people that had been studying this shark and this is where it was born and whatnot and uh it attacks takes out a couple and I do have to say, the couples that are there, of course they're there because their marriages are on the rocks. And a guy falls into the water during this. And, you know, of course they're thinking he's going to get eaten by the shark. And his wife 
pulls him out or his partner whether they're married or not I don't know but they get him back on board this little floating building and she has a moment where she's screaming and whatnot and gets him back on board and then she's like overjoyed and emotional that he survived he didn't die and have a moment where she's screaming you know, don't leave me and all this here sort of like a horror performance and that moment was first rate and they have a moment of reconciliation and the shark turns up and takes the two of them out at the same time so this happens throughout the movie uh, not long after a similar sort of thing happens between two of the other one of the other couples and they get taken out by the shark on the beach this thing crawls it out as I said in the last review I did in this channel the the thing that lets these movies down is just the the high quality of the video that they're actually recording the movies on and uh, the blending of the visual effects with that back in the day it just seemed to be a little bit easier to, to hide the, the mix of the two because quality wasn't just as high so you know it's it's difficult to get that balance between the video that you're shooting on especially in high definition then trying to flawlessly blend in this CGI shark more or less but you know having said that uh, a big budget takes care of that with these films here all low budget to uh, some of the movies that I've done and some of the movies I've got in my playlist next to near no budget whatsoever so the lower the budget the cheesier it looks but uh, the shark coming on the beach has six heads of course and it's using four of its heads as feet and it's actually walking up the beach and the two heads at the front are taking out what it, what what uh, they can and they also discover that it has the ability to regenerate it's like the, the Doctor Who of the shark nation and um, every time they cut a head off this thing uh, you've seen that in the other movies like I think it was Free Headed Shark Attack I've done on this channel um, yes yeah, so every time you cut a head off it simply grows another one and uh, comes back for more so the only way to kill this thing is to take out the heart more or less so by the end come up towards the end of the movie um, they have sent out a distress call and you're expecting his ex-wife and the new man to come back and save them uh, you think that's their way off the island but they get taken out in short order as well there's a fairly good sequence and it was well, well enough done well enough blended in that it actually looked very very good for whatever the budget was in this movie but they turn up in their little boat and this huge shark with six heads starts to swim around their boat faster and faster and it starts a whirlpool and on the surface the boat spinning looks great but as whenever you get in below the surface of the water you start to see that everything's CGI at that point and on a low budget it doesn't really pay off but she gets taken out along with this new man and this only leaves at this point three people standing so you've got uh brad the three nor the three people that i just mentioned at the start there the three main cast branton narrett as william tandy cb as mary and her husband james played by cord newman now there is a bit of chemistry between this guy William and Mary and her husband realises this so he uh, you're expecting him to do something against William at some point in this film so they come up with an idea they've got these uh, tanks of like propane or whatever it may be they're going to go bury this in the beach and try and get the shark to come over the top of it and James this woman's husband is on top of this lighthouse and he's going to take a shot and blow these canisters when the shark gets over it but uh, he lets his anger get the best of him and uh, he takes a shot at the shark before it gets to the tanks and then decides he's going to use a second shot he's going to get three bullets that's all William would give him and uh, the second shot he's going to take it William himself he's like okay 
everybody's dying around me I may as well take this guy out myself because he's trying to get on my wife is what he's thinking but uh, yes his wife actually saves William from the second bullet and the third bullet he then again shoots at the shark hits it in one of the heads kills the head of course as I said every time you kill a head in the shark it just grows another one so the shark actually a couple of times in the film does this when one of the heads gets killed let's just say it actually uses the head beside it and rips the head off its own body and it does that at this point and actually throws the head of the lighthouse takes out James so it just leaves William and Mary at the end of the movie so they swim to the, this boat that's just off shore get on board that with their canisters they take it with them and uh Yes, they're they're trying to set up a trap for the shark. It attacks, of course, and they manage to fight it off. Uh, it breaks through the bottom of the boat, and they're inside the hull of it. Uh, she's made this spear, and the the canisters are connected to this. So William he is stabbing the shark in the head with it, but they have to turn tail when he gets bitten by the shark. Uh, it's new head. That it's starting to grow at this point isn't as large as the rest of them but gives him a nip on the bottom of the leg more or less but they're they're still able to swim and whatnot but while the shark has its head inside the hull of the ship this boat had uh, been stabbed with this spear as trapped for a second giving them time to escape and swim back to the island but of course it manages to get out of the ship comes after them and William has this uh, flare gun with him and the final showdown with the shark is at chasing them onto the beach again and it gets trapped on these rocks while it's trying to come after them again using four of its heads for feet but uh, the spear is still stuck in one of its heads and these canisters are still there so how they take the shark out is flare gun under the canisters explodes kills the shark uh, of course cut the heads off it'll grow more so they have to kill the hearts so they seem to have done that at the end of this film but uh yeah it's as i say cheesy has its cheesy moments uh the shark for the most part looks good but <coughs> when it's getting up close and personal with the the actors and it's taking people out the you know what you you just you're seeing the the cheap blend between the two um that's that's not good whenever it goes for the the people and you're actually seeing somebody squirming when it's trying to bite into them like there's no uh practical effect at all there like, you know they had some sort of a fake shark head or something that was trying to gnaw under their legs or something that would look good but they just tried to go digital with everything got there so whenever it comes to that doesn't look good but uh, the effects of the shark itself um, like walking using the four heads to walk works fairly well um, you know there's there's blood splatters and whatnot of so many uh, off side of somebody else getting killed and you'll see like a splash of blood hitting them or something it's all practical so it does, there's parts of it look really good but for the most part you have got that cheesiness between the the actual uh, practical elements of the film and the, the, the cheap CGI that they're using but having said all that again the for me for the most part the, the performances, performances in this movie were very very good there was nothing in there out of any of the cast members that just screamed to me that uh they hadn't a clue what they were doing like they were all in there doing their thing taking it serious um i like to see people having a bit of fun when they're making movies of it, if it comes across that they're actually having fun doing it it's i enjoy that a lot even though they're not really in character and whatnot. And you'll see, if you check out the previous review that on here, of Landshark, uh, that was incredibly cheesy, but there's quite a few people in there having the time of their life. It was really good, but the cast here were all on board. 
they were playing their characters well and believably. So this is a good one. Like I'd probably come back check this one out again at some point. But um, yeah, very good. But I will also just keep it as a, a cheesy, cheesy shark movie because uh, just the concept of a shark with six heads. That's a cheesy idea. So I have got a mess load of stuff that I want to get through here tonight. As I say, I've just been through, or as I said in the previous review, I was sitting just adding stuff onto my playlist on Amazon Prime. And there is a movie that, just from the title of it alone, I am pretty excited to get on to check this one out because it just sounds right up my street uh, it's called Titanic or Titanic Rises I believe the title of it is or our rises Titanic Titanic Rises we'll go with that one there so as soon as I hit the upload on this video I'm hitting that movie tonight so chances are you'll get another episode very very soon on the channel so please stick about check out my nonsense and I'll try and keep this going as regular as I can guys take care of yourselves I'll talk to you in the next one.